this is another way to diagnose uh, classify the hypertension as that there is pre hypertension right then there is hypertension stage 1 and hypertension stage 2 there is pre hypertension of course pre hypertension is not hypertension that is why it is called pre hypertension then there is systemic hypertension tension stage 1 then there is systemic hypertension stage 2 right prehypertension is not hypertension but still we need to alert the patient right now uh, who is having the prehypertension prehypertension we can write here systolic values and here diastolic values of course in millimeter of mercury in prehypertension right systolic values are somewhere between 120 to 139 it is not hypertension but we will still request the patient to change his lifestyle is that right and diastolic is somewhere between 80 to 89 millimeter of mercury again it is not hypertension right but these days doctors are so sensitive to hypertension that someone who has systolic between 120 to 139 and diastolic between 80 to 89 they say this person is having a condition called prehypertension and in this case we will not uh, use any pharmacological management we will not use the drugs but we will recommend change in the lifestyle for example what you will request the patient what you will advise the patient okay first uh, there has to be physical activity should be increased exercise preferably aerobic should be done right that helps to bring the blood pressure down okay. secondly of course smoking should be avoided hyperlipidemia should be corrected then uh, if yes salt intake should be reduced excellent then what else stressful event should be avoided or managed there are some stresses in the life you can avoid and some you cannot avoid that you have to work. manage yeah in Pakistan when you get married you cannot avoid your wife is that right you cannot go anywhere right so then under those circumstances when you're married for lifetime you have to manage your stress you cannot avoid your stress coming from the spouse isn't it so what i'm talking about that patient who have pre-hypertension they have to take care of their stressors is that right they have to take care of their weight they have to take care of their diet right in the diet what what they should do what modification in the diet should be done if someone has pre-hypertension of course more fruit more vegetables less fats less calories no added uh, and not extra calories to put and junk food should be avoided is that right so diet changes then we say that uh, physical activity we have already discussed that increasing physical activity reduces the blood pressure right then what else you will recommend we will ask the person to relax not so much stress especially when blood pressure is high uh, what you will recommend for relaxation okay some people will go with the yoga some people will go and offer some religious activity and their blood pressure will come down but some people they do religious activity and blood pressure will go up they will think what they have done in their life and god knows it and blood pressure jumps up so again for every patient you have to tailor what is the best way to relax for him someone will go home look at his girlfriend and become relaxed another person goes home sees his girlfriend and blood pressure goes up right so you have to manage that what are the stressors and patient has to accordingly manage and one way one technique to really relax one person one person is not going to work for everyone is that right anyway so this uh, let's come to the real science let's talk about hypertension stage one hypertension stage one is that when systolic is 140 somewhere between 140 and 159 millimeter of mercury and diastolic is somewhere 90 to 99 millimeter of mercury right this is stage 1 hypertension and stage 1 hypertension right and of course here we not only advise for the lifestyle changes but we also advise for the drugs as well and then stage 2 is when someone has 
systolic more than 160 millimeter of mercury and diastolic more than 100 millimeter of mercury. Is that right? Now, here I would love to explain another concept. We talk about malignant hypertension. Have you heard of the term malignant hypertension or accelerated hypertension? Accelerated hypertension or malignant hypertension. What is malignant hypertension? Is it due to some malignancy? Yes, what is malignant hypertension? Have you heard of this term or never heard of it? Malignant hypertension, it's very severe hypertension because this produces very dangerous side effects. So we say as far as behavior of this hypertension is concerned, it is not benign. Behavior of the hypertension is malignant. It is not due to malignancy. It is uh, so high blood pressure which produces very, very severe complications. In malignant hypertension, usually diastolic blood pressure is, diastolic blood pressure is more than 120 millimeter of mercury. And with that, there are retinopathies. There are flame hemorrhages in the retina. There are flame hemorrhages in the retina, right? Or we can say third stage, third degree retinopathy. Now, malignant hypertension is not due to any malignancy. It is simply a hypertension in which the end organ damage is very rapid and very severe. And you know the patient who are diagnosed with malignant hypertension, if you don't treat them, 90% will die within one year. The patient with malignant hypertension, 90% will die within one year if you don't treat them. And with the best treatment in the world, still 30% die within five years. With the best treatment in the world, still the third, every third patient, every third patient of malignant hypertension dies within, within how much time? Within five years. So its behavior of this hypertension is really malignant. Is that right? And in malignant hypertension, they have very high diastolic blood pressure. Along with that, usually there are complications in the retina, right? That we say hypertensive retinopathy is there. That when patient come to you, diastolic blood pressure, whenever a patient come to you, diastolic blood pressure is very high, immediately do retino, retinoscopic studies. Look in the, on the retina, ophthalmoscopy, right? Because if you find there, the there flame hemorrhages, right? It is it, a diagnosis of malignant hypertension, a very, very dangerous situation.